I'm Dr. Lisa Lewis, and this is our, the first of our video series called Getting to Know Yourself. So for the first of the series, we're going to do Anatomy 101. What I really wanted to do was try to put together a simple model so that people could see how they are put together to hopefully make your medical visits go better, whether or not it's just for a routine visit or if you have a female problem. So the first step is to look at your uterus. And your uterus really is about the same size and shape as a light bulb. Your cervix is the bottom of your uterus. And I just use it as a demo, that is the screw in part of the light bulb is really your cervix. And that's screwed into the top of your vagina. So when you have a pap smear, really all we see is the tip of your cervix. Everything else is up inside your body. The next would be your tubes. Your tubes are all along the top of your uterus, about like so. And all your tubes do is allow the sperm to reach the egg. And you actually get pregnant in the tube, because that's where the egg gets fertilized. Next would be your ovaries. And your ovaries really are about this big. They, they are the brains of the operation. The ovaries uh, make the egg, and while they're making the egg, they produce the hormones that cause the lining of uterus to build up to hold the pregnancy. And if you don't get pregnant, then you have a period. So this is really about the right size and shape of all of your parts. Your tubes really are about this long. They really are about this wide. And your ovaries might just be a tiny bit bigger than what I'm showing here. And I'll again show it up against my body so you can tell. Now the way it's put together is, if this is your pelvis, then your cervix would be screwed into the top of your vagina. And I'm going to add a vagina like so. Your vagina really is just a wrinkled up tube. And uh, it's meant to stretch to be big enough for a baby to come out. Your bladder would be on top. So I'm going to use a balloon to show you what your bladder looks like. Your bladder is stuck to your uterus just like an orange peel. And your urethra does come out long enough to reach the front of your vagina, just above your vagina. Your bowel is just sitting all around it. So I kind of wanted to show a little bit about what your appendix looks like. If this green balloon is your appendix, it sort of sits like this. Your appendix is on the right side, next to your ovary. So if you have an appendicitis, doctors really can't tell. Is it your ovary or is it your appendix? And that's why you would have a pelvic exam when you go to the doctor with right-sided pain. That concludes the part one of our Getting to Know Yourself video series. Yeah.